again, man. This is another Strictly Bar Talk exclusive. This is Doc, Chia. Um, I'm here in Lincoln Terrace Park with a world famous guy named Marcus Bondi from Australia. All the way from Australia to Brooklyn, New York, Lincoln Terrace Park. Real quick, let them know something about yourself that they may not have known if they haven't seen your YouTube videos yet. Doc, it's such a pleasure to be here. Look, the one thing I'll say about myself, and I think I can speak for anyone that likes the bars, nothing is for free. You have to train hard. You know better than anyone. You're a one-arm pull-up guy. That's, you know, that's phenomenal. Look at this guy. He's built like a rock. He's like he's carved out of granite. He does one-arm pull-ups. The guy must be 190 pounds. Phenomenal. And he didn't get that for free. He couldn't always do a one-arm pull-up. He had to train for it. Hard training. Not easy training. Hard training. And, but he got the reward. That's the bottom line. And now, now it's all his. That's the thing. Barbarians gave it to him. It's phenomenal. And barbarians have given it to me. But you can't take it unless you're willing to put it out 10 times. And that's what this is all about. So, so awesome seeing guys across the other side of the world training hard. Doc, you're awesome. The inspiration that you, you and all the guys have you know, inspired everyone around the world, it's phenomenal. Very humble guy. He called me a one-arm pull-up guy. He has videos of doing one-arm pull-ups up to about five times. Just today, he did about four on one arm. Very humble guy. Very strong guy. Real quick, I don't know how long you've been working out. About when you got started and how long. Oh, look, I started young. That's why all the kids out there, it's never too early to start and it's never too late. Start as soon as you can. When you're at home, do 20 push-ups, 20 pull-ups. Do lots of pull-ups and push-ups. All you kids, in between homework, in between watching TV, in between computer games. Just do the, get the numbers up. Don't worry so much about form in the beginning, just get the numbers up, work hard. Go to the Barbarians website, have a look at their programs, what they do, look at these guys. They all had to start somewhere, and they started and they're at the top now. That was good, that was good. So about how long have you been training now? Like, uh, oh, look, <laughs> uh, about 35 years, about 36 years, <laughs> seven years. Since I was about six or seven years old, always training hard and just, just the simple stuff. But it's an investment in yourself, guys. It's, you, you can invest in your most precious possession, your body. And your girlfriend will appreciate it too. <laughs> and just look at it this Shit. way. Every push-up you do, every pull-up is a better looking girlfriend. <laughs> it's really, really good advice. So real quick, you know, um, I hear a lot about the Bondi Beach. Uh, the guy Jay that was here, we call him Jazz. He was talking a lot about Bondi Beach. Let him know real quick about Bondi Beach, how many people might be involved with it, and what it encompasses. Look, it's an it's a outdoor training gym, very much like this one, but it's on the beach, so you can have a swim or a surf, you can come down and work out, and of course, everyone who's a friend of Barbarians is welcome at Bondi Beach, because Barbarians have a special place at Bondi Beach, they are always welcome, and they get the run of the gym there at Bondi Beach, so check up on Barbarians, go to the site, follow the programs, and then you too can come down to Bondi Beach with the Barbarians and work out. Is it like a, is it a, is there more guys than just you and all? Um, oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of guys from all over the world, all ages, all nationalities, and uh, we even have girls down there as well. Oh yeah? Yeah, man. Alright, yeah. we're going to look out for those Bondi Beach requirements. <laughs> we try to get those in there. Alright, so also I want to know, like, what was the journey like from Australia to Brooklyn? What was your mind frame like? Oh uh, look, I, I was just focused on seeing all the barbarians, training with them. I was doing push-ups in the back of the plane, 14-hour <laughs> flight in the galley where the air hostesses were, doing push-ups in the airport, push-ups all the time, just focusing. The, the one month prior to coming, I was just thinking, you're going to see the barbarians really focus, healthy food, healthy mindset, and lots of training. And it's been so fantastic. Brooklyn and the barbarians, awesome. Phenomenal guys, super focused, super sharp, you know, Absolutely phenomenal work, work ethic and totally focused. Likewise, man. I'd like to say the same thing about you. If there was anything motivational that you might be able to say that you haven't already said, because you said a lot of motivational stuff already, but if there was anything that you might be able to say to somebody who wants to be a lot like you, because you're an inspiration nonetheless, you know? But what might you be able to say to somebody who's up and coming, looking at your videos, saying, like, oh, I want to be able to do these things, man, that's amazing. Okay, just watch the Barbarians videos, <laughs> pay close attention, and remember, every extra pull-up or push-up you do is the one the other guy's not doing. That's true, man. So you do them, get up in the morning, you know, you know this, all this stuff, like you, you've been there, you know? I mean, you gotta work hard. Yeah, that's it, all these guys, and the rewards are, are your life, you know? You, you get a, you know, a strong, happy, healthy life out That's a reward. And form, 
Who has uh, man, I was trying not to say nothing. Bomb. <laughs> Bomb <laughs> I was going to leave it with that. <laughs> Bomb has inspired me just this weekend to really work on my back lever holds and my planche push-ups. So that's, you know, even this weekend, I'm still learning all the time, hanging with the barbarians, learning all the time. This kid comes here, does pull-ups with us, just bangs in, banging out pull-ups. Bomb. So I'm learning from two levels of inspiration, experienced and beginner. The, you know, the, the, the sheer hunger to learn from this kid and form, who's got the experience, and I'm learning from him about all the elements of the finer points of a plant push-up. Great, you know, win-win situation, superb. So how am I going to learn? Thanks so much, Paul. I really appreciate that. I'll be practicing. I'll be back to Brooklyn or when you come to Bondi Beach. We'll be busting out plant push-ups together all over here. Yeah. In, Australia, in Australia, right? So we were talking to Jay. Yeah, um, he was telling us that maybe it's a different, like it's a different format of training that you guys might go through over there. Like real quick, let people know what kind of, because we all do the ball, we all work out on the ball, and that does actually, you know, unify us, which is beautiful, man. But I want to know, like, what are some things that you guys might train for in Australia? It's a little bit different from the way other people might train other, well, other places. Sure, no, yeah, good question, Doc, because what we do is a lot of uh, sand running on the soft sand. So we run four or five miles on the soft sand, and that, that's actually a very good warm up, right, yeah, in a bar, bar workout. Yeah. So sand running and swimming, do a fair bit of swimming oh. just in the, in the ocean. And a swimmers over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we do, so we, we do that, but that's but that's all. But no 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 traditional gyms. It's all outdoor. No, nothing with air conditioning and carpet and machines. None of that stuff. Nothing artificial. Totally nature and natural. You know, outdoors, body weight, exactly what you guys.